so i hope that this session is dear actually helpful for you to make a brief analysis of current affairs so let's start with today's news supreme court declines to entertain petitions on caste census so caste census is recently repeatedly in news so this comes under gs1 population and associated issues all you need to understand for prelims is about socio-economic caste census 2011 which is conducted for 2011 census of india that is conducted in all states and union territories okay so this is important <clears throat> and this was also the first paperless census in india conducted on electronic devices so the rural development ministry has used this data in many welfare programs like narega national food security act and dina dayal upadhyaya yojana and many schemes so this data mainly it is used to identify the beneficiaries and remember this is the first caste based census since 1931 because 1931 only we were started to conduct a first census so from that onwards this is the first caste based census okay <coughs> so this census has a three components which were conducted by three authorities so it was conducted by three authorities but overall coordination is done by the department of rural development of government of india so census in rural areas that is uh, conducted by rural development census in urban areas is conducted by ministry of housing and urban poverty elevation caste census is conducted by Ministry of Home Affairs. Okay. So in India, actually the census was started in 1872 under Viceroy Lord Mayo. He was the first to give a complete census. <coughs> uh, no, uh, Mayo, no, sorry, but the first complete census was taken in 1881 under Lord Ripon. Okay, so after that every 10 years the census was conducted. Uh, so actually the census was conducted by registrar general and census commissioner under the ministry of home affairs <coughs> the last census of india was 2011 okay the next issue is forex reserves increase to five months high so this comes under gs2 economy so for prelims you need to know about the forest exchange reserve so foreign exchange reserve means that is the assets okay but that assets are held on a reserve by a central bank that may be in currencies like bond t-bill and other government securities most foreign exchange reserves are held in us dollar remember most of the foreign exchange reserves not all the foreign exchange reserves india's forex reserve include foreign currency asset gold reserves special drawing rights by reserve position with imf this is important for prelims okay see objectives of holding forex reserves is supporting and maintaining confidence in the policies and provide the capacity to intervene in support of currency and limit the vulnerability okay foreign currency asset means nothing but that is a value that value is based on a currency other than the country's own currency and this is the largest component of forex reserve and sdr is an international reserve asset that is actually created by imf Remember, SDR is neither a currency nor a claim. Okay. Reserve trench position means it is a portion of the required quota of a currency. Each member a country must provide to the IMF. See about IRDA, that is an autonomous and statutory body. Main objective is to manage and regulate the insurance industry in India. Okay next issue government policy model is stalling production of biodegradable plastics 
so comes under gs3 environment and <clears throat> about single use plastic is important for prelims which means it is used only once and discarded like face masks coffee cups trash bags uh, single use plastics only account for a third of all plastic produced globally with 98% manufactured is from fossil fuel and india in the top 100 countries of single use plastic waste generation okay <clears throat> single use plastic will no longer be used according to the central government from july 1 2022 and there are certain items that are banned by the central pollution control board and the ban will be monitored by cpcb from the center and the state pollution control board okay and this ban can be penalized under environmental protection act that's all about today's news have a great day thank you